What is going on there, citizens of the Reject Nation? We are back to watch two episodes of The Bad Batch, 2 by 9 and 2 by 10 because someone was a little under the weather last week. <coughs> Michael the Tesla, follow Hello, him. Friends. Multihouse.io. Find out what that stands for. <laughs> I think IO stands for Indian Ocean. <laughs> is <it> really? <laughs> yeah. You learn a lot here when you watch episodes of The Bad Batch. Yeah, no, we come with we come with facts, evidence, and other critical details. With that in mind, you guys are gonna giz you guess are gonna gonna leave a like. You gonna giz, you gonna do it. Giz the like button there. Give it a like and a comment. And then I feel like there's something. Oh yeah, full length reaction watch alongs. We sync with your own copy. For the Bad Batch, available for our super sexy rejects over at our Patreon page. Over there, we cover several things exclusively with reaction highlights and watch alongs included. You ready to pick up where we left off? Por favor, mantengas de las puertas. Mats, please stand clear of the closing doors. A <laughs> <laughs> crossing. Oh. Um, ooh. We're down here is the Bad Batch today. The last of us. <laughs> Bad Batch edition. The show maintains its beauty. These set pieces are just gorgeous. This is going to be a really fun episode. Excavate the site for Ipsium. However, in its raw state... The mineral is highly combustible, like a primed thermal detonator. Sounds dangerous. dangerous. I was about to say, sounds dangerous. <laughs> I have the same intellect as Wrecker. <laughs> <laughs> you, you sure do, Greg. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. I'm so excited for the Fallout show right now. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Problem? Yeah, that big frickin' storm. <laughs> we need Wrecker to assist with operations inside the mine. I'll be the lookout. Not alone. Sid warned us about poachers in the area. Keep your eyes peeled in commerce if you see anyone. Frickin' Sid. Greatest character in Star Wars history. Oh, hmm. wait, that's a character. I don't know. Looks like Sid was deceived into purchasing an already depleted mine. Keep scanning. <laughs> we'll extract whatever we can. Oh, Looking for unobtainium. The Ipsium is going to be difficult to reach. The mineral is far too unstable. Even the slightest friction around it can cause a destructive chain reaction. That's what she said! <laughs> I was thinking about Echo. It's weird without him around. But... You'll get used to it. Omega, we require your assistance. On my way. Oh, I don't like said Omega. Said Dega. We don't really see Tech and uh, Omega hang out a lot. Drill into the fossilized quartz yeah. until you reach the active Ipsy inside. If the mineral becomes compromised during the retreat. Chain reaction explosion. Got it. <laughs> yes, let's trust the small child with that job. Whoa. And that's where the COVID vaccine comes from. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good. Okay. Poachers. Their helmet kind of reminds me a little bit of Hondo's. Just a little tiny bit. Keep asking for it. I will. I'm not going to get it, though. Let's get back to Old Mantel. What is it, Hunter? Sounds like a ship. Oh no. <sighs> Grand Theft Starship. There was no one there. Clearly that was not the case. There has to be a way to get it back. Summon the doctor. How exactly did you miss our ship being compromised? <laughs> The spaceport approximately 40 clicks south of here. We can acquire transport there. Since we do not have access to long-range communications without our ship, it is our only option. Damn. That sucks. Only Echo was here. <laughs> Echo? Are you there? He's too long-range. 
Echo won't pick up our signal. He doesn't care about you. He abandoned you. I've abandoned my child. <laughs> What's that? Run. <laughs> Jabba's? <laughs> Oh, oh my god, it's the, it's Lion, the Lion King! King. <laughs> uh, it's the Lion King! <laughs> no! Oof. You must protect the Ipsium case! If it explodes, we'll all be dead! Long live the king. Then one just comes by and knocks him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the storm. Well, that would certainly explain the stampede. That's what I'm saying. Ow. Ouch. Ah, I got that. You gotta get it. Omega helmet, man. <laughs> we need to find shelter. That is another mine. 30 meters ahead. I see it. The mine. <laughs> oh, God. Where's the MCM? Oh, God damn it, guys. God damn it, guys. Oh. Jeez. Maybe they'll find treasure while they're still. Yeah, they'll finally <laughs> win. <laughs> so, now we are trapped. And we have lost all of our Ipsium. Well, uh, I, I suppose that's my fault, too. Well, technically, yes. <laughs> The Marauder's transponder isn't relaying a signal. It was probably disabled by the thief who... Well then, how are we gonna track it? What does that read in the script? <laughs> we didn't lose Echo. He's not with us! We're supposed to be a squad! This squad existed squad. before Echo was a part of it. And it will exist after. What is your issue? What's wrong with you, Omega? <laughs> Honestly, I want to be alone. Yeah, <laughs> this is actually good character development. It is. I merely stated the truth. She already knows the truth. That's why she's upset. <laughs> hey, right, you're, like, you're a bad father, <laughs> you know that, Tech? Gonna be in the mine. Bad rock. Tuscan Raiders? <laughs> I'm done with you. <laughs> I just expect stuff I know. <sighs> what is Star Wars without an Easter egg for me to give, clap at? Give them time. Maybe we'll find a lightsaber. Show or me something. things I know. Ooh. Oh, she's gonna come out with black eyeliner. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, are they the spiders from the Mandalorian season two, episode two? Holy shit, is she finding treasure? She did. Oh my god, the mines of Moria. Balrog. <laughs> Mithril everywhere. <laughs> Go check on the kid. She said she wanted to be alone. She's clearly having a hard time adjusting to Echo leaving. Talk to her. Very well. I wish all three of my dads talked to me like that. You know, sometimes what people say to you might not be... So technical. This isn't pod racing. <laughs> Riot, Riot racing. racing. Come on, man. Get your <laughs> shit together. Omega? You won't find Echo in there, Omega. You are surrounded by enough Ipsium that if not handled correctly, could take down this entire cavern. Then you better not distract me. <laughs> Teenagers. 
thought we could use this to blow our way through the cave in. This vein appears to be much more pure than what we found in Sid's mine. Perhaps you should extract as much Ipsium as you can. What a stroke of good luck. I am fully aware you are capable of the task. Grab the empty vials from my satchel. Uh, he's, just, he's trying. <laughs> yeah, in his own way. How many are left? This is the last one. But if you need to get more to avoid the conversation. Take. Oh my god! Ah! Oh my god! That's probably the right move for the show. That time they killed her off. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty terrifying, actually. Oh my god, they're gonna run into a bunch of Jawas. Tech, come in. Omega, do you copy? Something's wrong. I think he might be force sensitive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I'm getting what I want, a Tech and Omega episode. Right? Ooh. You think the Gungans are down here? No, the Mon Calamari. That's beautiful. Where's the oh, light coming pretty. from? Oh, they're surrounded oh. by so much of it. Omega. Dive deep down underwater and extract more for us. <laughs> we only have one vial left. <laughs> What's it gonna be? Tick, look. The outside? There is a passageway just beyond this wall. Oh. Hunter, we found an alternate way out. You guys you did need good. need to retrieve our gear. Coo, coo, coo. Maybe on the way out, they'll find some spice. <laughs> you will need to carefully scale down the narrow crevasse and descend into the aqueduct below. You will come upon us once the rapids eject you over the waterfall. But you must not compromise the mineral vials or you will perish. <laughs> Everything is changing, and you don't even care. I'm not sure how I should care about change. It is a fundamental part of life. Always happening. I am aware that you miss him, but we have to adapt and move on. That well done. is what soldiers do. Well done. Well done. We're a family, aren't we? Yes, of course we are. Then why Aww. don't you act like it? He just starts bawling. <laughs> His little goggles fill up with water. <laughs> yeah. I have to respect their decision. I may process moments and thoughts different, but it does not mean that I feel any less than you. Oh. I want you to moderate my YouTube comments. <laughs> Did somebody grab her hat? Yes, thank you. It's very worried. <laughs> She already lost her ship in Echo. Well done, shot. Yeah, they didn't even need crosshair. Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> That is the spaceport, but there does not appear to be much activity. Well, there better be some chow there, because I'm sick of rat. Oh, man. Hunter's barely got in any time with Omega. I feel like Hunter had a lot more last season. They're trying to give everybody else a chance. We came all this way for nothing. I can send out a long-range transmission with that array. Nice. No can do, fellas. <laughs> Tied up at the moment. You'll have to figure it out yourself. All right. You are such a pain in the ass. 
I didn't tell you to get your ship stolen, did I? You are such a pain in the ass. <laughs> uh, all right. Give me a few days and I'll see what I can do. We don't have enough rations. The last is... Oh, I cannot stand Sid. <laughs> She's such a pain. We'll figure it out. <sighs> like we always do. All right. Good, good attitude. But also, goddamn Sid. I hope it leads to them being like, we need to stop working with her and join yeah. the rebellion. <laughs> yeah, or do you work for anybody else? Yeah. I hope the next episode is the next five days of waiting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, God. Please roll the credits. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I like the Tech and Omega moments. Yeah, I, the, the, it was it was a nice um, there's some nice writing in there. Um, honestly, I, I like the episode. I think it was just said said it just annoying. really threw me off my uh, my game. Well, let's watch the next one. Yeah, let's do it. Retrieval. Nice. Oh, great! Still in Arizona. Arizona. Uh. I'm bored, I'm hot, and I'm starving! <laughs> I told you to preserve your rations. Well, I got hungry! It's a really relatable character. Yeah, especially for all the hot women Try I know. Try doing a trace on his binary reference code. On it. <laughs> Don't get your hopes up, kid. Did it. <laughs> Look at this asshole. Shut it already. Getting annoying. Is that their hair or feathers? Mako, it's Benny. You're late, kid. My scouting run took longer than expected. But I found something you're gonna like. Lower the shield. A whole new civilization here. That's neat. Two. <laughs> I swiped it from some amateurs poking around the old mines in the Northern Territory. Miners don't travel in ships like this. Looks specially modified. This could draw the wrong kind of attention. Yeah, Betty. I thought you could make some money off it. That's all. I swear. All right. I believe you. Just to be safe. This'll still put me in contention for top earner this round, right? We'll have to see, Benny. We'll have to see. But you did good. It did better. It reminds me of what's his name from Treasure Planet. Never seen it. Oh, Greg. Greg. What about water rations? I was scouting out there for four rotations. Right you are. The Republic Canteen. Marco always takes care of his crew. Strip the ship of anything useful. God damn it. Thanks, Marco. Of course. Of course. Hmm. Bet those droids are going to die in this episode. Maybe. Uh, I love that a gonk droid gets to finally have their time in the... Limelight. I think I found Gonkey. <laughs> you what? His signal's 100 kilometers east. Let's get this thing running and find out. They did it. They're there. <laughs> I'm reading minimal life forms in his proximity. I like that everyone goes along with Gonkey. number in the subterranean level. This place looks worse than the abandoned spaceport. We'll do a split approach. Stay alert. It really feels so small with that echo. Yeah. Yes, I'll have to sell you for parts. <laughs> because you're useless to me. What am I gonna do with a defective power drawer? Shut up, Benny. Now where's our ship? You see, the thing is. Run! One jump ahead of. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, that's that was great. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Screw you, Benny. The 
Let's try that again. Where's our ship? The one you stole yesterday? That ship? <laughs> Marco has it. That is Benny. <laughs> <laughs> Take us to it. No way. I can't help you go against Mako. You don't know what he's done for me. He's an oppressor. <laughs> oh, a little Stockholm Syndrome. That's nice. But if you get caught, you don't know me. <laughs> I hate him. I know, he's really annoying. He's probably going to join the bad I does not think it's him. Yeah, we've stormed tougher strongholds than that. It is one covert infiltration point from there. Looks fun. And reliable. Glad you're also confident, but getting cooked alive wasn't on my agenda. You can go once we have our ship back. <sighs> Boy. Uh, uh -uh. <laughs> like that they're okay with endangering the life of a child. Now. Free fall. That's pretty cool. Well, you were right. You said it was unguarded. It I love that. The time. Let's kill it. Shoot it in the head. I'm telling you, you gotta bail before it's too late. the others. We don't do that. This is not good. This is not good. <gasps> God damn it, Benny. Oh, they can't use the blaster on it, huh? Yeah. Five seconds. Hi. Oh. I fell into a burning ring of fire. Ah, cool, cool. You definitely aren't Ipsium miners. Nope. You stole the wrong ship. <laughs> We're treasure hunters. <laughs> <laughs> So big. That's what she said. This looks like Temple of Doom. I agree. I know a shortcut. No tricks. Hey, I'm not trying to get caught either. I hate this kid. I don't trust him. I hate him. You didn't ask me what condition it'd be in. <laughs> How's that my fault? Relax. It's not a complicated fix. It better not be. The hyper no, just a hyper <laughs> Yeah. I'm working my way up. But if Mako finds out I helped you, I'll be sent to the mines. So act natural. Pretty sure you already work in the mines, kid. <laughs> See? It's a skill. Great. Can we go now? Not yet. All right, all right. Stand sharp. This Mako guy is so repulsive. This round's top earner is Drake. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me! You gotta be kidding me! <laughs> As for the rest of you, rations are low, which means you need to work harder and longer. God. Oh my God. Is this how you treat your employees at Multi House? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> Play the fifth. <laughs> I stole a ship, and it still didn't make me the top earner. You shouldn't have to compete for food. That's how it works here. We have to earn our share. But I'll impress Mako. Just wait. Ooh, he is brainwashed. Do you think he's going to betray them for food? You should just leave with them. Don't, don't leave him here, please. I beg you. <laughs> don't take. Get anyway. ready. Sell him to Sid, maybe. The control room. Copy that. Get the shield code and get back here. I don't trust him. Doesn't seem like he cares about any of you. Why don't you leave? This is my home. Our ship is our home. It's the only one we really have. Camino was blown up. You can have my rations. Why would you give this to me? For helping us. Thanks. Now shoot him. That's how you keep me on the real rejects. <laughs> <laughs> you could have my cliff bar. <laughs> the motivator is installed, but I still have to connect the primaries to the guidance system and adjust the Navi computer. In a way, Benny's motivator was also installed. 
Marco appears to be using his power and means as leverage over his workers. It is a similar tactic used by the Empire. This operation is on a smaller scale. And throughout corporate America. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Didn't Bryce and Hugh say they removed the hyperdrive? Hey, who are you? Uh. Hey, Morty. <laughs> Uh, I don't know about <laughs> Are we allowed to do those voices anymore? Yeah, they need new people. The Ipsium he is degraded. It is. Not according to this. Let me see that. Marco's a liar? <laughs> the title of top earner is definitely in your future. Oh. You piece uh, of shit, Benny. That's all right. He feels bad. He's going to have an uprising. I think you'll reconsider. Omega! Fly, you fools! <laughs> Broadcast it to everyone. You never cared about us at all, and I have the proof right here. Let me see that. Oh my god, even he's gonna be on your side? What's going on, Mako? Will we toil down in the mines while you enjoy the spoils? Yeah. And thus, a union was born. <laughs> Go. Teamwork! That takes a lot of freaking trust, my god. That's cool. I could do that. <laughs> yeah. Take care of all of them. Eat him. <laughs> but actually. <laughs> Tough ass. Aw. Your one chance to survive. Not a great dude. There are things about this that I do appreciate that they've added to the writing. Do you have some criticisms, though? Yeah, that's totally valid. But there are some com compliments. Here's your stuff. All of it? Yeah. Don't you trust me? No. Been a freaking asshole this whole time. You can be whatever you want. It's a big galaxy. You don't have to stay here. It's not so bad. And with Mako gone, we'll all be getting an equal share of the profits now. Yeah, they'll uh, know how to solve this equally. Thanks for showing me the truth. Hey, if you ever need a thief, I owe you. Oh, no. Every team needs a burglar. I don't want to see Benny ever again. We've seen so many in the galaxy like Mako. There are many like us out there as well. And that is something. It's true. It's good. And so the bat sailed to the stars. <laughs> okay. Wow. All right. All right. Well, uh, they seized the means of production, which means I think we officially saw our first ever uh, socialist revolution uh, in Star Wars. Uh, so that was exciting. How many episodes? It was the 10th episode? I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I mean... I'm I'm really... <laughs> yeah, I'm, say I'm, it, I'm conflicted as a season because yeah. I feel like we're, we're way past the halfway point. And while for the most part there's been some... In, like, most part it's been enjoyable no, like there's no denying that most yeah, part yeah. it's been enjoyable uh filler is not the right word because there are episodes like this which maybe are not these two episodes that maybe don't go in full service of like the big story of where it's leading to but yeah. you get some nice character nuances you get some nice character development like yeah. i like the stuff with tech learning a little bit more about emotions and how to be because you don't really you don't get much tech and omega together so you got some of that tech and omega bonding yeah. with one another which i like 
I even appreciated some of the writing when it came to this um, oppressive force with Mako and the way the children are where they do trust. Because they're kids. And even when Mako's about to die, they don't just like devour the guy or let or like let him burn. You know, there's still that moment of of um, inner conflict of no, take my hand, survive. Like they still they still have a, a care for him because yeah. they're like you said earlier, like 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 Stockholm syndrome situation. You know, that it wouldn't just go away. That's like kind of a, a surprisingly realistic nuance of abuse that they implemented into them. So like I enjoyed that. Uh, it, it just doesn't. It does feel like there's a lot of episodes that don't really feel like in service of a grander story, yeah. And and that's kind of what I'm, I'm just itching for that. Like you, yeah. you have that that first episode early on, and the, the third episode with Crosshair. You got that two parter, yeah. with uh, the clone. Um, I'd, I'd I'd almost prefer a shorter season with more meaningful more. episodes. Yeah. Uh, and and I I mean. I, I love that they're doing character development. I love that they're building out this idea of a family. I just feel like we've spent. We you could do that as your. As, well, that's yeah, exactly yeah. it. it. It's just, it's like a lot of extra steps uh, to get to where we want to go. And, you know, I think it's something that in terms of, you know, the, the episode count, it really worked for Clone Wars. Um, well, you that, have like a gazillion characters. Well, there's a gazillion <laughs> yeah. characters. There's also a gazillion separate arcs yeah. that are all kind of feeding into each other in different ways, you know, whereas, you know, they're really at this point are only kind of three arcs that I see that they're following. Yeah. And because they're jumping between the three, I don't feel like they're doing particularly well at covering, you know, uh, crosshair uh, and all the conflict that's going on there, which I think is a really compelling story. Uh, the clone resistance in the form of, you know, now echo, Cody and Rex, uh, and then just the Bad Batch itself. Yeah. Um, and because we're being drawn in all these different places, I just um, I feel like we're we're missing out. It's not a like I completely agree. Like I thought the episode was like really well written. Yeah. Um, I appreciate that it wasn't just caricatured. Like you know, I mean, the exact thing that they're describing like historically happened is exactly how that used to work. Um, and I, I appreciate the nuance that's going into that, but, um, I just, I don't know. I wish there was a little bit more focus and you do um, get that itch of like, just get to the point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, and like, I love star Wars, you know, like, so I'm, I'm of course glad to, to, to go on these adventures, see new planets, see all of it. I, I just feel like, you know, the, the bad batch as a series would just benefit from a little bit more focus. Yeah. Um, and who knows, maybe as we reach the grand conclusion of the season, that's what they're going to deliver on. Um, I just think it's a shame because I feel like this show would probably have a lot more uh, traction behind it if there weren't these episodes that just, like, I, I think throw a, a lot of people off. Well, this was the, I, I agree, because this was the first two-parter. I mean, they had the first and second episode, but there was some necessity to that. Yeah. But they had a, a two-parter before that where they aired it the same night. And yeah. then then they have this two-parter, which they air, you know, one week at a time. Yeah. And the two-parter prior to this was amazing. Yeah. And they introduced so many interesting shit. And it just feels like we completely sidestepped no, I know. for I know. something where you got a, a tiny, yeah, you got a yeah. couple of new characters yeah. And this new world, but it it's not newish enough yeah. where it feels invigorating it's or Arizona. refreshing. Yeah, the, <laughs> the landscapes Arizona and this whole thing with the the oppression and these miners, everything about yeah. it was like I've seen yeah. other variations <laughs> already of A thousand this. iterations yeah. of this, and like, and I and I appreciate it, and I appreciated it yeah. the first hundred and ten times. But now that we're on 111, I'm just, I'm getting a little tired. And now that we're, five, oh, like, how many episodes are in the Bad Bat? 15? Yeah, I think 15, right. 16, something yeah. like that? Yeah. yeah. When you have that many episodes, you're like, we don't we don't need this plot right now. Yeah. I mean, it, like, like to the point where I, I wish they would just, after this season, if they would like to continue this model, to maybe just be like, okay, Clone Wars, we're doing a new animated series. Clone Rebellion, you know, mm -hmm. uh, and just tell that story 
rather than like making us wait two weeks. And like, there's nothing wrong with liking this either. Like, yeah. Like, I think this is still really fun. Star Wars and still has its place. I just feel like the show that I am longing for and craving, uh, I get little tiny tidbits here and there just enough to keep me going. Um, and it's just, I don't know. It, it, it's, a. Uh, uh, I hate sounding this harsh because I still love it. It's just uh, we are talking about th- two different shows uh, that are trying to exist as as one. Well, I, I did you rewatch the Bad Batch going into the season? I didn't rewatch it. No, no, I didn't. I'm uh, I've been rewatch rewatching Clone Wars, and I'm almost done. I'm on season five, um, and it's it's definitely given me a a, preci- a, a whole new appreciation for Bad Batch. Um, but I also think that it, it highlights why Bad Batch struggles so much in that this type of, of mostly linear story that they're trying to pursue, but with, you know, I think writers and the team behind Clone Wars that did anthology uh, storytelling so well, it just keeps colliding in a way that um, uh, it's it's driving me a little bonkers. Well, I felt, I felt like the first season, even though there were some episodes that you kind of get rid of it still had an underlying through line where you could see that there was if i recall correctly i only watched it once yeah. but yeah it was like this whole story of an escape and and you and you felt that like they were yeah. constantly on the run yeah and, well, the, the batch was together too which yeah. i think but there was um, also a whole thing with crosshair and everything it, but but that was still one conjoined story whereas even crosshair's arc as much as it still has to do with the rest of the Bad Batch in this season, he's just off on his own adventure, totally, you know, yeah. removed uh, from fighting the Bad Batch, from dealing with the Bad Batch. Um, and and I feel like that was something that the first season had that, that common thread. And now, especially with Echo gone, I mean, even just like looking at him, like, oh my God, there's only three of them left. <laughs> like, yeah. Well, the, uh, the, and Echo. <laughs> so honestly, the storyline with Echo and, and Rex just sounds way more interesting yeah because and, it yeah. seems like the through line should be the rise of the clone rebellion yeah. and you know um i mean we got other factions of other st- andor and yeah. and rebels it deals with the rise of rebellion yeah so focusing on clone rebellion and it seems it, i keep getting the feeling like okay it seems like the batch is eventually going to be joining in on that fight and that's yeah. where it's supposed to go yeah. but that that presence of that storyline seems to completely disappear when you get episodes like this instead yeah. of sort of reminding you uh, of those things. And and that's what I crave. That's what I miss. That's yeah. what I miss the most. Yeah. And and part of me wonders if, you know, uh, and maybe this is the optimist to me, but like at the end of this season, uh, will they announce a separate series that will tell just that story? Because um, I, I think there's there's more than an appetite for it. Yeah. Um, uh, especially leading into Ahsoka coming out uh, and, and the next season of The Mandalorian. Because um, I, I, I definitely think uh, those stories will have to connect in some way. But, like, if the Bad Batch is, you know, I mean, that, that whole last bit of dialogue was all about how, oh, outside of the Empire, there's all these other bad guys that need to be dealt with. If that's going to be the pure focus of the Bad Batch, then please give us a separate show um, <laughs> so that we can also follow that other story. Not to say that I won't watch and, and love this, um, but sure, sure. I just, I, I feel like that's what uh, uh, I'm not, I'm not mad at the bad batch. I'm just, I'm mad that I want another show that the bad batch keeps teasing me. Yeah. I mean, if you're going to do this many episodes, it's, it, you just can't have too much of it's fine. Yeah. You know, like, there's a lot of fine in here with intermittent yeah. okay this one was surprisingly great yeah well it's just like we've seen how, like what was it episode two when we were on serrano like dooku's old planet three um three, three. Yeah. And, like i we've we've seen this same kind of like uh things are crappy and we need to make things better and yeah. it's just like uh that is the one thing Star Wars, I think, definitively has enough of. Like, well, well, they're not even really introducing new. Like Mako had a good presence about him for the most part, but I, I do think that a lot of times they introduce these new characters who are not really that interesting. And like, I didn't really care for Benny. I like the yeah. even like we liked that episode 
quite a bit that a lot of people actually didn't like the riot racing episode. Like we yeah, really enjoyed it was, that. It was fun and and as and and inventive as, and yeah, yeah. And and there were characters that I was really I like the droid. The droid was uh, was so funny. A uh, Ben Schwartz. Uh, I thought that would have led into more Sid being not such. She didn't even yeah. do it. Like no, they Sid, had the cliffhanger. Sid did the opposite of something. Yeah, they had Sid. The, Sid. <laughs> Hung up on them, which also raises the question that they let Sid know that they don't need to get picked up. I know. <laughs> like they had the cliffhanger like, OK, I guess Sid is going to come around, yeah. even though it's just I'm sick yeah. of that beat with Sid as well. Yeah. Of like, I send you on a mission. It goes wrong. And like, no, my problem. Like, God damn, these guys yeah. have like no, these gone guys are to smart bad for you. Smart too. like they're yeah. not idiots. They know that they're getting a raw deal like. The popcorn that they that Sid has, it's just it, it, unless it's good enough to keep them coming back. Um, no, I don't know. It's a you know, a, like Omega said, it's a big galaxy out there. You could do anything you want. So why the hell are we still going back to Sid? <laughs> yeah. You know. So I don't know. I don't know. And you know, I I think it, you can you can have those silly characters, and I think there's so many instances of that being done right, like. Hondo, especially like rewatching the Clone Wars, a ridiculous, silly character, but at least like they have some redeeming qualities. I haven't found any yet regarding Sid. All, all that I feel is just like this is the biggest waste of a. Uh, I mean, it. You need a character if you're gonna have somebody sending you on ridiculous missions and all that that at least you're excited to yeah. come back to that has an air of mystery or interest or that feeds into a larger narrative and like they teased a little bit of it during the the riot racing um but we haven't gotten any anything any no, reward it, for that since a lot of times it seems like they're teasing something that's going to be bigger to come and it doesn't really yeah and like the best episodes are the ones that are not bad patch focused like hunter is not interesting this season he's just no. not hunter, hunter no. plain and simple yeah he's not interesting and i, I really feel like he's take i understand wanting to elevate your other characters and, and give them I, I i love tech i do i think tech's an, a great character and omega is learning things that other care like omega needs to learn shit even though she's learning things that a lot of other characters we've seen that are already in Star Wars, but yeah, she's learning. Yeah, but yeah, I, and, I, and and listen, I I'm a I'm a firm believer that like Star Wars belongs to all of us. Yeah, and that like broomstick, it's an entry point. <laughs> God, <laughs> it, it's an entry point for you know. There's a whole new generation of fans that this might be their first piece of Star Wars content, and Omega is a great character to follow in the same way that Ezra. You know, I mean, I think a lot of complaints about uh, Omega, we got the same ones about Ezra. And Ezra grew up into a character that I really, really appreciated. And um, and honestly, I really haven't found Omega that annoying. I found the other adult characters more yeah. annoying in the show. Um, so, you know, I, I don't I don't have issues with that. I just, I think the problem is, is they show us that they're capable of, of doing better. Um and then instead of continuing to deliver on their strengths, uh, instead they they just continuously fall back on um, their weaknesses. I mean, this uh, I thought this I, th I I weirdly like the the plot of the second episode ten episode ten mm. was more interesting because you got more shit going on and you got this bad guy, so that's more interesting. Yeah. But the emotion of the first episode was stronger to me of, of the grief. And the contemplation of how to handle the situation with tech yeah. and, and Omega. And it's like, I felt like that should have been the through line. Yeah. Well, it, it, I don't feel like we really got any closure on that other than like tech briefly kind of opened up, but there really wasn't any resolution. No. Um, <laughs> you know, and, and I understand you're not going to get that full resolution, but still like, um, I don't know. I, I, Obviously, they're going to give us some kind of reward uh, for the Clone Rebellion at the end of the season. So, you know, the next couple episodes are probably going to be action-packed. But for for a two-parter, which historically I think all their two-parters have been so strong, um, this, is a week. This, was, this was weak. This was weak. And to think, like, you're going to make us wait two weeks after that epic, you know, <laughs> yeah. uh, is, I don't know. It doesn't know how to ride momentum. 
I think no. I think as a season, it it's it it really struggles with that. Well, I think it's it's also because of the format too. Like, you know, when when you're talking about the Mandalorian, or you're talking about you know any uh, Andor, you know these scripted linear series, it is a common thread. And even though it's live action, I think that common thread can and should still exist in in animation. Um, and it's not Clone Wars. And I think it should stop trying to be Clone Wars. Well, Clone Wars always had the through line of we're in a war. <laughs> yeah. So uh, they always had that going for it. Yeah. Yeah. And but they're in an occupation. I mean, they're in a there is still that that thread, in my yeah. opinion. And you in know, this show. Uh, in in this show. And if their desire is to swap to different POVs and tell those separate stories, either commit or don't. But this tease. I, I haven't been teased this bad since, well, you and I started our friendship. Yeah. So. Well, I'm not going to play <laughs> off that too much. Uh, <laughs> Rats. Almost got him. Well, what did you guys think of these episodes? Yeah, did you I'm, love them? I'm super curious. Like I said, what I like about it, I like about it. It's more just um, as a season as a whole. I, I do. I am. I am having an itch and there's too many episodes where I'm like, yeah. we can, we don't, we didn't really like, you could have easily taken this little element and then put it into a more meaningful episode. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm yeah. super curious as, as to what everybody else thought. And, you know, I, and do you guys think we're going to get any payoff uh, from just the absurd treasure hunts and, and missions that <laughs> Sid is sending us on? Uh, so do you remember? Do you remember a couple episodes ago where you laughed at me when I said like maybe it connects to like mall? I'm sorry, guys. Uh, that was the optimist. In me. <laughs> Death me. <mirror. laughs> um, all right, guys. Well, thank you for being here. You can follow Michael. And hey, let's end this with a. Pick. All right, Michael, you're gonna help me out. We're gonna give James Pickering a new patron. James, here's how we do the traditional shout outs for the new patrons. Are you ready for it? I'm ready. J stands for jacuzzi because you make me feel warm. Mm. What comes A? It says so James. stands for Arizona, where this episode of The Bad Batch took place. M stands for masculine, the kind of quality I like in a man. E stands for equality that now exists in the socialist state that has been established in Arizona. And S stands for starry eyes, because that's the kind of glance you give me, my friend. Yum. James Pickering, thanks for being new to our Patreon page. I yeah. hope you had a good time. You're probably not watching this show. We'd, we'd pick you every time, James. Ah, uh, 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 well, super sexy learn. rejects. If you want your name shouted out, I would subscribe to the Patreon if you haven't already. The tier is full. Uh, what was that? The tier is full. The for tier the shout is full. Outs. You're done. Sorry, your money's Pickering no good. Here. Was the last pick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we'll we'll see you in the mines. Until next week. Uh, I'm Greg Elba. <laughs> I'm Michael Tesler. And this is The Real, Real Rejects. Rejects.